There we are. Hey, how's it going? Uh, so, I made that video on Hitler. Uh, the, the part two for Sasha and Masonry and Freemasonry is coming very soon. And um, other videos as well. But as for today, I'm going to be talking about the, the, the madness that is the world that we live in. And how you, as an individual being, can have a greater understanding of the world we live in. And, 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 and what the true worlds and, 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 and what your business is dealing with the worlds outside of this realm, see? So I'm going to start this thing off by saying I am not a spiritual guru. I am not a spiritual uh, leader. I am not a spiritual teacher. I am simply an individual who stumbled across a lot of spiritual information dealing with experience, going through different things, being taught different things, uh, you know, friends, going through things, and many other types of situations that I've never spoken about on this channel. And, and my name is Kevin. My name is Kevin. You can call me serious if, if you wish. That's fine. Um, this stuff is dealing with RH negative blood, galactic spaceships, People, people on different planets, different types of um, dark entities, light entities. This is dealing with war of the worlds and and the war in heaven and and different matrix systems and different dimensions. Um, actual actual galactic wars that's been going on for thousands of years that people are not aware of. A lot of. Uh, misleading information on this planet demons our government corporation and how you as an individual being has come to this world being taught a bunch of indoctrination and not understanding who or what you really are I have made the decision to create the online website and I will be doing that very soon but for now, I wanted to talk to you guys about this because I think I feel like this is this is very serious and, and it needs to get said. For the past 24 years, for the most part, I have been watching the progression of humanity and how our technology, right, from the 19, 1990s to 2000s to 2010, our technology has skyrocketed. I mean, we have flat screen TVs, we, we have, you know, PlayStation 4s, we have, now we have hoverboards, yes, skateboards that hover in the, in the air, hoverboards in Australia. We, we have uh, AI, um, uh, uh, artificial intelligence agencies that are creating these machines that talk and act like a human, and they're androids, pretty much, they look like a human. And now they're trying to give the, the, the androids some kind of like birth certificate and all this other crazy madness and all this what we really need to understand is that when you have an observative eye and you understand a lot of uh, knowledge on dealing with the cosmos and certain things and certain laws that have been placed on our planet we need to understand that you as an individual being are being manipulated in a control and domination type of game. It's some really evil stuff. <laughs> and with that being said, there are certain people in this world, our elites, are, which is your Illuminati, and these people practice dark magic, dark sorcery. Yes, yeah, sorcery. And magic isn't an evil thing per se. It depends on what's in your heart and how you use it. The reason why in your churches, your mosques, your the cathedrals, and many other places such as these, they teach you that magic is evil and satanic is because of the fact that they don't want you guys practicing magic or anything along those lines. Not understanding that you're a magical being yourself. Hence word, your soul inside your physical vehicle. 
physical vehicle. What do you mean? What are you talking about? See, the body that's in front of you is third dimensional. This world, in, 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 in fact, is third dimensional. What human beings do not understand is that we came from a higher plane of consciousness. What is a consciousness? A consciousness is an individual electromagnetic consciousness being created and becoming aware of itself. And then, moving throughout different parts and understanding its reality and how to manipulate its reality to its own best benefit. Hence, survival. And being able to learn how to coexist with the reality system in which it's been created in. So, this is also dealing with your instinct. In the world that we live in, for the most part, everyone's instinct tells them that our government is evil, but they can't understand why. There is so much fear being pushed out in our churches. The religious factions, the, church, the, the people that believe in religion, there's people now killing each other for their own belief systems. Just the other day, 400 people died in the church, and there's so many mass shootings, and all for what you believe in. This is a concentrated effort to control the people in their minds. See, this is a war for your mind. This is a war for your mind. And basically, the world that we live in is a construct designed by certain types of demonic entities. Now... These demonic entities, as I've talked to you about in two videos already, talking about um, a place called Shambhala, and or Shambhula, if you will. These entities are called archons, demons, actual demons that they talk about in your little biblical books and stuff like that. These things do exist. You see the UFOs that are up there in the sky all the time in these videos. This has a lot to do with that, and why our government never sp speaks about these things. For example, if I told you that anything is possible, would you be inclined to believe what I have to say? I don't think so very much. And the reason why is because as a child, you grew up in a family that was most likely religious or anywhere near um, that kind of mental thinking. And what they do, they put you through a process of believing certain things. And to undo that process takes a little bit of time. It might even take a lot of time if you're somebody who's been believing a certain belief your entire life. Because you have to understand there are things unseen to the naked eye. And these things are dimensional, going beyond the dimensional realm in which you and I live in. Understanding this will give you a better outlook on dealing with what you are, who you are. And how to find out what your purpose is. See, everybody in this world is being controlled. Your jobs. Your hourly wages. Your girlfriend sucking up your time. Your boyfriend sucking up your time. Your family forcing you to go to college when you don't even want to, maybe. Or you maybe want to do something else, but college is sucking up all of your time. School. College. They keep teaching you guys the same thing. Think about this, guys. If... This system really wanted you guys to become the best that you can be. Why would they force you to go two to three or four or eight years in college and pay all that money for classes you don't even need? Instead of giving you the classes that you actually need to get to your profession, they, make you, they force you to pay for classes you don't even need in order to get to your destination. They're deterring you from the subject matter at hand in which you want to get your hands into or you want to bite into. So much, so really, you're biting off more than you can chew. If that's the case, then the system is against you because they're forcing you to pay money out of pocket that you don't necessarily have to cover all these classes. So our college system is really a distraction because most people now are experiencing, like my friend Joseph, you will see him in a couple videos soon, they're experiencing that college, just because you graduate out of college, doesn't mean that you will be dealing with the profession at hand that you graduated your college course classes for. The classes that you got and the profession or major or the minor in which you were 
working hard towards. You never actually achieved it. You 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 may have graduated, but you're not you're not working as that. You're not making your revenue money. You're not making profit off of being that. Because life, you can't seem to find seem, seem to find a job in that particular uh, subject matter. You can't seem to find a job in that. So now you you realize you wasted so much money, two, four, or eight years possibly, working your ass off and not making. <laughs> Not making a damn cent out of what you wanted. School. They teach us lies and propaganda and bullshit. And I have to come up here taking time out of my day to teach you guys certain things about history in which you guys are not aware of. This world has become a mental construct to go against the light bodies that we are. See, you have something called a soul, a light body. It's inside your, po it's inside your physical vehicle. What this system has done is forced fed, fed yeah, is forced fed yeah, lies, deceit, and deception, and programming against your will. But they did it undercover. The television, the television, which tells lies and programming propaganda to your vision. See, they knew that if they could trick you covertly and not let you know anything, and the, uh, they would be able to control you very easily and make you more docile. How? The fluoride in your water supply. The fluoride, what it does, see, you guys don't understand. You search up fluoride. It's it's in our water supply. You gotta put lime or, or cucumber in your water, guys, because this this is serious. What happens is, is that your brain goes through a process of something called calcification. Calcification is what happens to something called a pineal gland or the seat of your soul or the third eye, which is a pineal gland or a pine cone shaped gland in the middle of your brain. It goes through a process of calcification after you get injected in the hospital and forget all your past life memories. Yes, past life regression, yes, trans past life regression is a very real thing, guys. You all lived past lives. You guys kept on reincarnating. And I told you, you can look up the video, don't go into the light. There's a video and it says here's why. I'm wearing a bandana in that video. We'll search up that video. There is a system going on up here in the fourth dimension that keeps having people reincarnate backwards over and over and over and over and over again, going into 666, dealing with your protons, electrons, and neutrons. 666. Understand? So this is a beast system that we're living in. Because the demiurge, yes, you know, the thing that you guys like to call Satan, the demiurge is a being that has found a way to control the system in which we're living in. We're living in something called a matrix system or matrices or matrix system or matrix reality system. And because of this, we are now living in a time frame called the, 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 the arc cycle of Aquarius. This is the time an arc cycle where all the truth will be uh, be shown above all the lies so the lies will be shunned and removed for the truth many people are not searching up esoteric information and that's why I'm here on this channel trying to tell you guys things there's many channels you guys can visit for example uh, OB Kinesis he shows you how to use telekinesis in some of his videos RFG chosen one uh, you got uh, the 13th son you have uh, you, you have so many, but this stuff is dealing with going beyond the matter world. And, and, and because, and because of, of, of our ignorance as human beings, uh, we constantly keep putting ourselves in scenarios and situations that we're not even supposed to be dealing with. See, you're dealing with something called a life script. You are an actor in a video game construct. You have become an actor. And you're living out the the day-to-day the day uh, life of an avatar character in which you created and decided to reincarnate into this life as. Yes, the way you look in the mirror is most likely because you designed yourself to look that way. You wanted to look a lot like what you look like on the outside. And yes, not everybody looks the same. Their spirit sometimes may look different from what their physical vehicle looks like. This is a physical vehicle that we use to live out the life script in this game. So, because now the fluoridated water has calcified your pineal gland, which has all your memories locked in it, which is 90% of your brain, 
that's locked down, you're only using 10 to 7% of your brain. Yes, guys, because your pineal gland is not active, you're not psychic. Because of this, now we're living in a false reality matrix illusion, a third dimensional paradigm that don't make no sense. We're living our day-to-day -day lives out here and thinking that this is the real world, that this is the real reality, when it's not. It's a lie. It's a farce. It's bullshit. It's all bullshit, guys. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. So, when somebody is taking this life so seriously, they really, they're just ignorant. They're just ignorant. They don't know the truth. And this is why I say that you need to activate your pineal gland, your third eye, the seat of your soul. And the way to do it is through meditation, using binaural beats, um, getting, getting um, you know, uh, hematite magnets, putting them on your body, eating vegan, vegan holistic foods, doing a lot of spiritual meditation, and trying to get to that theta brainwave state in order to activate yourself. See, the dark entities, which are, believe it or not, you have things that look like demons and they are aliens these these things are your illuminati you have reptilians creatures that look a lot like a lizard creature that's that's humanoid it stands up like a man it talks and it looks a lot like a lizard um you have ones that look like gray gray aliens i know you guys have seen those you have palladians they look like caucasian people but they're not they're humanoid. They look like a person, a human person, but they're not. You have Octorians. They're purple. They have purple skin. They have huge eyes. You know, um, they they have a you know like a purple hueish glow around them. They float and they're very intelligent. You have um, you have you have many different types, and, and uh, you have um, you have you have shadow entities. You have dark entities that like to bother people and stuff like this. You have. You have um, many many different types. They're archons, guys. You you have so many of them. Uh, you know, you have insectilians. You know, like a, it looks like a praying mantis. You know, it, it looks like a praying mantis, and it's a it's an insectoid. It's an insect humanoid. So it looks kind of like an insect, and it looks like a humanoid shape. You know, their hands are like this. You know, whatever, and they're very evil and. And they like to kill humans and stuff like that. They're very, <laughs> they're one of the lowest of the low when dealing with um, demonic entities and stuff of this nature. And these demons have a vested interest in seeing you fall. They know what you are. They know that you're a higher state of consciousness. You're supposed to be far above them. They can never reach you. But the problem is, is that they have indoctrinated you guys by eating meat, eating blood foods, eating flesh. Blood, meat, anything with a heart, um, flesh pork it doesn't matter they're all the same do not eat from the unclean meats guys because these meats what they're doing is that they're lowering your aura field they're they're lowering your your electromagnetic field and when your magnetic field your electromagnetic field is so low to that point they can touch you they can attack you they might even be able to take over your body and even kill you maybe. yes this is why going vegan is so significant it, 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 it it's 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 very necessary because you don't want to activate your pineal gland while you're eating meat. That's just stupid. You're going to see a lot of dark, shadowy entities walking around the streets, probably bothering you in your house and stuff like that. But if you eat vegan, holistic foods, you're going to be vibrating a lot higher than they are. You're not going to be vibrating on the same channel as them. You're not going to be vibrating at the same frequency as them. So you're going to be at a higher frequency. You won't even see them like that no more. The point is that all these spaceships that people keep seeing, all these UFO sightings, the CIA trying to cover everything up. The FBI trying to cover everything up. The point is not to let you know that our planet is being infested with demonic entities that want to come and harvest your fucking soul. They want to come and kill you. Yes. And they know that you're stronger than them. And that's why they need to keep you down. Because all humans are, are really angelic beings from the fifth and ultimate infinite dimensions. Yes. And we're all stronger than them. So they need to keep us down through what? Ignorance and fear. If they can keep you in those two frequencies, they win. So do not fear them. Get rid of your fear. Because your fear is what's going to keep you locked down in this third dimensional matrix paradigm. Understand? 
yes, there are worlds out there that are unexplored, uninhabited, where you guys can set up your own kingdoms and have fun and play and, and, and experience the, the fruitfulness that is reality. You understand? The, the, you know, there, there, is, there is a lot more to be discovered. And, and, and you have to understand that these demons deal with your Vatican. They're the ones funding all these churches, your mosques, your cathedrals. They're the ones funding all this stuff. They're, yes, I know some of you guys already know this stuff, but this is for people that are just visiting my channel and not, are not aware of what my channel is about. Okay? I always make videos like these because I know there's always going to be somebody who doesn't understand or doesn't know what it is I'm talking about. So I need a brief video, a brief explanation on what I'm talking about, what my channel's about, and what we're dealing with on this channel. Because you guys need to know. I'll be trying to make other accounts on Twitch and stuff like that. You know, trying to like go everywhere, try to let you guys know what's up. The world, the world is, 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 is the world... <laughs> You know, what they're trying to do, they're trying to wait for a certain time period, which is 2020, to start the uh, the, um, the hell on earth or your new world order uh, 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 plot on the planet, yes. They're trying to do all these terrible things because they don't want you to wake up to who you really are. The way to get to that is something called the records of Akasha. It's inside your mind. And then I'll be making a video on how to get to those records very soon. Okay? Or, or your Akashic records or whatever. It's inside your mind. And there, and, there, and there is ways to get to it. I'll be teaching you two ways to get to that now. Okay, sorry. Video cut off. So with that being said, um, I'll be get, teaching you guys this, this knowledge on how to get to your records inside your mind and activate your... So with that being said, this is Sirius Center Temple and I'm out, guys. Goodbye.